it's going to be pretty good for you. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep going through the mailbag here. And let's see a question from Hindez. He wants to know, how can you stop drags or dual crossers? So how would you stop, uh, you know, these routes here? They're, they're pretty popular. You've got just a little short drag. They're going to beat man-to-man coverage. Uh, they're going to beat zone as well. So people do like to go to drags, and if they get themselves in manageable situations, uh, they're going to have pretty good luck. So we'll try a play like drive sale. We're going to flip it, and then we'll maybe motion Kelsey over. Okay. So drag. The, the very the very first thing that I look for uh, when I do something like this, so this is a, a base setup from Big Dime 146. I look, so if you, actually do this for me, move the ball to the left hash. Okay. So I look at where the ball is, and, and the as, as, as the goose said the other day in the mutt cast, where is the green side of the field? And what that is, is the open side of the field. Farles, what is the open side of the field? The right side of the screen Why right is now. it that open? Because the ball's on the left side of the and screen. And that's the most open part of the field. The left side of the field here is closed because you're closer to the boundary, the sideline. Yes. Uh, so what I do in this situation is I will say that my user – user defender is best used where the open side of the field is because that's the area of the field where I can get beat the most. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is if I want to stop a drag and I, and I know you run into dual drags, I would drop one flat to the weak side. I'd let you have that and then I'd manually cover whatever comes to the right side of the field. Okay. Because if you throw the drag to the left side of the field, you have less room to, kick, to catch that ball and cut it up field. So I'll let my zone go over there and make a play. And then you, even if you get by the zone, you have a little lot less field to work with uh, to get the first down or to make a big play. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and use the open side of the field. Okay, so you're going to try and shoot down, make a play. I know the left side's bottled up, but I got my other crosser coming. And then I'll go here, and then, and then I'm going to drop off. It. And then I'm going to drop off on that. That's a pretty important note, I think, is when these two routes cross, you should make a good habit of, of get not guessing, but like... Going all in on one. Yeah. If, if, if you're going to see this route three times, one of the times you should just go for it. Like, I'm going to see you on Kelsey, but you should then immediately drop to Wilson and try and make a pick when these two routes cross. Like, yes. Like, you did a good job right there. You didn't make the play, but there was a big difference. You sagged off in right. coverage. And that is how you become a better user. Yeah. If you're going to stop drags, I love that you just showed the flat zone. I think that's crucial uh, to stopping it. We talk about it with drags, too. You don't have to you, – you're never going to stop drags. Can't stop a drag. Can't stop a drag. Best route in football. But you, Always can, open. you can slow down drags. Yeah, You know. absolutely. You, okay, so what I want to talk about here, What you a good point in here. You didn't even say it, but you, you showed it, right? So uh, when you're defending routes, this doesn't even have to go for drags. This goes for really any route. You have to have the awareness to know when your opponent can throw the ball and have a completion – Versus when they they are they no longer have the option to throw the route because they'll probably throw it out of bounds, they'll throw it too close to the sideline, and then you bail on the route. So just run a drag to Kelsey here. Okay. Um, get Wilson out of there, run him on the street. So I, on this first example, I'm going to – don't even throw the ball. Okay. I'm just going to cover the drag, and I'm, I'm going to drop off when I think it's appropriate. So I'm going to go here, 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 and then I'm bailing. Then I'm bailing, I'm going another route because I know right. you can't throw that route. Correct. There's no use to keep guarding it. Once it's already beat, so I want to look at the timing of when I bailed, and then on this next play, I want you to tr this time throw the drag, and we'll see what happens. What happens is the angle the quarterback's going to have to throw the ball is going to allow the defender trailing him to actually catch up and intercept it. It's probably yeah, you you're little, pretty good right there. I, I could have late, but you're I could have gone a little earlier. Yeah, a little earlier. I could probably see. Here's the thing: if you throw that there, like if you throw it here, yeah, you're going to win. Yes, but I think if you throw it now, you're Pick. in trouble. Yes. So let's see. He needs to get to like in the middle of between the hash and the forty. Yeah. And I'm not going to defend it. I just want to see what happens. I think bad things will happen for you. Um, All right. Let's see what happens if I throw it right now. Bad things. Bad things. So there's there's an awareness factor that comes in when defending plays. Um, you know, so so if I'm have if I'm going to defend this corner out to Avant, like I want to defend it until like he's like. He makes his cut. Once he makes the first cut, I don't have to defend anymore. Like, you're gonna, he's gonna make the cut, and I'm over here. I know the corner here. Okay, and then I bail. Then I bail on it. I don't need to cover it anymore. So, very important. Uh, maybe we can spend more time next week, another week, breaking that down. 
because there is some type of there is a actual like strategy when it comes to defending specific routes and the time you need to stay on them. Correct. It's a it's a very high level way to play the game. That might be a brain trust thing. And that's the thing with with Kelsey. So if because you have the flat uh, zone on the left side of the screen. You only need to watch Kelsey for like two steps, basically just so I can't quick throw on third and two, and then you and then you gotta track Wilson because he's going the open side of the field. I'm gonna have a long window to hit Wilson. So I'm like here, and then I done. Yeah, done with him, and now you gotta start going. If I if I see that, I know I have to playmaker and get rid of that route because you're not gonna let that route up, and by the time you leave it, uh, it's too late to throw because the CPU will have caught up. So it's pretty tough right there. Uh, Quick shout.